I wanted to come on earlier today this morning, but I had to get ready for work, and so I just got uh, home from work a little while ago, and um, I just wanted to share a dream that I had early this morning. I woke up at 12.30 a.m., and uh, I was tempted to fall back asleep, but I knew I needed to write the details down that I remembered um, so that I can share it and remember it. So I had uh, written in my journal by the time I got up and um, grabbed my journal and looked at the time. It was 1231, and it's some interesting um, numbers for looking that up in Strong's Concordance, which I haven't done in a long time. But I want to share um, the rapture dream that I had. I don't think I've had an actual rapture dream before. I had two dreams in 2021 of seeing Jesus appear in the sky. And um, I've had end of the world type dreams before and some, you know, uh, pretty important dreams. But I can't recall off the top of my head having a rapture dream. But last night I did or early this morning. And um, I'm just going to read through some of the details. Uh, it's not as fresh in my mind as it was this morning, but um, I do remember parts of it. Um, so I'll just kind of read some of the notes that I have. It started, it started out kind of ordinary. I was just somewhere, and there were people around, and there was something to do with train tracks. I don't know. That's, that's, it started out just a random dream and some people were familiar some were not my mom was in the dream and there was somebody who was in a wheelchair in the dream and it's like we were inside but yet outside and I I've had a one of the dreams actually yeah one of the the first a uh, dream I had where I saw Jesus appear, it was the same kind of setting where it's we were inside, yet you, we were outside and we could see the sky. And um, so it's kind of similar to that. I don't even know how to explain that. Um, and when I first sensed the rapture was taking place, I felt a tingling inside. It just felt like this really positive tingling and now that I think about it it was like centered in my heart it wasn't like my body but it felt like where my heart would be it was just like a tingling feeling and then I began to rise in the air very slowly it seemed uh, slow motion sort of and uh, I also saw my mom rising up and the person in the wheelchair rising up uh, very slowly towards the sky and I remember thinking, why was it going slow? Because, you know, in the Bible it says, in the twinkling of an eye, you know, we'll, in an instant, we'll be changed. And um, so I just remember thinking that in the dream. And at some point, uh, when I was, as I was going up slowly, it seemed like there was a wall or a ceiling or something that kept me down or prevented me from going further. And I noticed my mom and the other person going up, like they were outside or going, you know, towards the sky, they were going up. And uh, people that were around were wondering what was happening. <clears throat> and I knew, I knew what was happening. And other people just seemed sort of confused. And then I heard the trumpet sound, and it's similar, like, a lot of people play the scene from some movie. I don't know what it is. It might have to do with the rapture, and it's it plays the trumpet sound before the people, you know, like flashes of light going to the sky, like that kind of trumpet sound. It sounded exactly like that. Um, and, <clears throat> and then... Uh, so as, and then, yeah, then I heard the trumpet and then I began to say, I was saying loudly the passage in 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 to 18, which is the verse of the rapture. And, uh, and I said it with joy in my heart or I felt joy in my heart. And I was saying about, um, the dead in Christ will rise first. 
then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up. And I was smiling as I said that. So I was repeating the verse or a portion of that, that passage. And, um, and as uh, people were around, I'm just reading through my notes. There's, <laughs> this is just what I remember. It's probably sporadic. Um, but as people were around, I saw somebody um, who I don't know him personally, but um, I mean, he drives a certain truck. I'm, I'm just a fan of trucks, big trucks. So it's weird how that was in my dream. But this person was driving this truck kind of around the, around the curve, coming towards where I was. And I don't know if, I mean, I was just kind of there uh, at that point, just maybe observing what was going on around. I didn't. I don't understand that part, but um, but he was driving, uh, driving past as if he was looking for someone or wondering what was happening, and uh, and I'm not sure if people could see me at that point. I don't know that detail. It felt like I was left to see what happened after the raptured were leaving, and then I wondered why was it slow motion, and I did not see Jesus or angels in this dream. Um, my son was not in it that I could tell. And after I saw that black truck drive by, I walked around, or I don't know if I was floating. I was moving around somehow. I, I don't know. And then I woke up and I had a sense that I was waiting to go and one, wondered why did it stop for me? Why, why didn't I, um, why didn't it just happen fast and why wasn't it just, you know, from here to there and bam, done? Um, and I just wonder, was I being left behind or was it, was it the dead in Christ that were rising first? And then I wondered why I was rising with my mom and I was wondering if the person in the wheelchair was dead because I don't know who that was and it, it later on I thought about it. Um, I mean, my mom's... I, I keep wondering, I don't know how much my mom, you know, is older. Her health has never been the greatest. And, you know, you never know how much time um, a person has. And so I just think about that. My dad passed away in May 2020. And he had to, uh, he had two types of cancer. And he declined really fast and um, ended up on hospice. And he had to go to the VAER three times in two weeks. Sorry, my phone is shaking. It's cold in this garage, so I'm sorry I'm shaking. <laughs> um, but he went on um, hospice after having, uh, he had a rare blood cancer, and then he had, uh, they found out he had a uh, stomach cancer, gastric cancer, and that's what took him eventually. But he had to, he had um, blood clotting in his legs or something, and they had to do surgery on both his legs. And it did not work for one of them, so they had to amputate his leg. And for a little while, my dad was wheelchair bound uh, before having to be, you know, bed bound on the hospice bed where he just, he just couldn't be anywhere else but that bed at, um, towards the end. So he was briefly in a wheelchair. So I don't know if that was just my mom and dad together, you know, um, and my dad got saved on his deathbed. I did a video about that story. And how God confirmed that to me. So my dad got saved on his deathbed, praise the Lord. And um, my mom, um, you know, she's, I believe she's saved. Um, but um, I just, let me turn to, I made another page here. I want to make sure I didn't um, forget anything. But I was wondering if the, um, you know, if, if I was seeing the dead in Christ rise first, and I mean, I don't, my mom is still here, but my dad's not. So I, I don't know what that meant or if that was even my dad, I don't know. But, um, and when I look, um, yeah, and then I woke up. So when I, uh, another thing that I rem that I said in the dream at some point was as this was all taking place, I was just, uh, saying the verse or praying, praying or praying the verse about, um, that I would be count, uh, counted worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth in judgment. And I think that one is Revelation 3.20 or Revelation chapter 1 or 3, but it's the verse that 
you know, says, pray that you be counted worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth. And so I said that in my dream. And um, so when I went to the Strong's Concordance, um, 1231, that's the time I looked at my phone after getting up and getting my journal ready. And that in the Greek and Strong's Concordance means to distinguish, to determine, I know accurately, examine, decide. And then I went, I wanted to go to 1230 because I think that's the time I actually woke up from the dream. And sometimes I try to be as close or accurate as I can in case it has significance. And I've done that um, before. And so I accidentally went to 1232 and that one in Greek means make known. So that's interesting, make known. And then, um, so I went to 12.30. Did I write 12.30? Oh, I did not. I did not write what 12.30 means. Well, I might have to put that in my description box if I, if I remember, if I find it. Or, um, and then... Um, so then 11-18, today is November 18th. I just looked up uh, uh, 1118. And in Greek, it means a parent or parents. So that's weird. <laughs> that's why I was wondering if that was that my, I mean, that was my parent. Was it both my parents? I don't know who the other one was. It, it could have been. But I only saw that person from the backside, from behind. I didn't see the face or anything. And... Um, so anyway, those are all the notes and the details that I have, but um, but it it was I mean I I don't know what else to say. I was surprised that I that I got this right now. I have been feeling down lately because um, I've been trying to stay in relationship with the Lord and praying, and I don't know why. It's like I this last several months or last year. I just get distracted or it's, there's just a change or a difference. And I, I don't know if it's just the environment, like something, it just feels like there's evil in the air. Like there's just a, a darkness covering and I just feel it. And I don't know if that's what's affecting me to where I just don't feel the Lord's presence like I used to. And a lady actually that um, at my job had commented that she said she felt the Holy Spirit or she felt the Lord's presence or the Spirit's presence as she um, pulled up before she started talking to me. And then we talked and we, we, you know, we talked about the Lord and I didn't know, we didn't know each other, but we were, you know, you know, giving God the glory. And uh, cause I, I shared my testimony with her. She was a single mom too. And long story short, she said, you know, I felt a presence or I felt the Holy spirit as I was pulling up here and, you know, and now I see, you know, and so that was kind of, that was, uh, encouragement to me that you know the Lord is still here he is always near even if we can't you know can't sense his presence or feel it or see it he never leaves us and that is the straight up truth even even in my doubting times I know that he is always there and um but just to have that and I've, I've been just praying you know the Lord's will be done and just I've, I've been just seeking him and praying and, and just hoping that there's something that I could just do while I'm here. You know, what can I do? What am I, what am I supposed to do? I know what I'm supposed to do, but like, we all, we're all called to, you know, um, to just tell others about the Lord and share our testimonies and, and just be kind and, and, you know, do the Lord's work, but like individually, specifically day by day, like that's just kind of what I've been just feeling down. I just feel like I'm not doing enough. Um, but Anyway, I'm rambling on, and uh, but I just wanted to share this and get it out there, and I am very surprised that I had an actual rapture dream. I, I had a feeling maybe it might have been coming at some point, but I don't know. Um, but I'm very actually, I, I, I feel very encouraged and happy that I did receive that, and it felt like just like that sense of joy. And um, But uh, that's all I have for this time, and... Um, and I am sorry for the shaky phone. It's cold in this garage. And I wanted to hurry up and get some privacy so I can share this. And um, 
But uh, until next time, I'm, you know, hopefully there will be other things I can share that would, you know, uh, give God the glory. You know, Jesus is coming. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And um, he is our only hope, our only hope. This world is falling apart. And we'll just leave it at that. But uh, God bless everybody who listens to this. Bye-bye.